graders, um, today we're going to be um, utilizing our plans that we did um, using figures and symbols to create a positive impact, a positive message um, related to the environment, um, seeing as that's our theme this year in the school and in art. Um, so mine was, um, it says choose an environmental issue or concern that you care about. I said pollution, and it says write a message that can make a change, help recycle. So I chose to show um, two people holding up a recycling symbol and um, throwing away their trash in the recycling bin. Now, you have already made a plan, and today it's time to turn that plan from a 2D drawing into a 3D clay artwork. So... The great thing is um, I have a slab cutter, so I do um, have a tool that is already going to make your slab for you. Sometimes when you don't have this tool, you would have to roll a slab, as my students have done in the past, with a rolling pin. So instead of rolling a slab, we have a clay cutter. So I am going to cut a nice, perfectly... Um, flat slab already for you. And you can basically think of this as a thin piece of clay, almost like if you were to get a big piece of paper that you could create whatever you want by cutting from. So one of these slabs is going to be your base, and then the other slab is going to be your um, additions or attachments that you create. Um, You have a couple toolboxes at your table. You have a toolbox that has some imprinting tools if you want to already um, be inspired by Keith Haring's use of texture and pattern in his work um, and create a pattern in the background. Um, you also have a toolbox that has imprinting tools. So if you really like Keith Haring's use of dots and circles, you might imprint your own pattern in the background um, using a marker cap or a... Um, other circular tool like a pencil. Um, you also have cutting tools. So we have wooden clay tools. We have pencils in this box. We also have some imprinting tools that create a unique design. So there's many toolboxes nearby and those are the orange cups. Um, what you're gonna do first is decide on the shape of your background. So you have your slab base. Your background could speak more to your message. So. Think about the symbolism you've created in your plan inspired by Keith Haring. Um, what is a symbol that you could use in your background to create more meaning? So in mine, I planned a heart. I want to try to show you another example through this plan. So I'm going to say what could be even better. Um, I could turn this into a circle like the earth. Or maybe I create it like a rounded heart that I will later paint like the earth. So be creative. You can use your plan, but divert away from it a little bit. So I'm not doing an exact heart because I'm later going to turn this background into the earth. Um, now the main thing about your base that you create um, is you are going to not cut too much off of it because you don't want to waste this clay. So the base should be pretty large just trim the edges to create your shape and then on the back of it you're going to write your name and class code so i'm writing my name is olson i'm at cc for class code you write yours as clearly as you can and then you can imprint a texture if you feel it will help your message so mine is going to be the earth so i think that i'm going to um, utilize this to create some texture there I'm going to press it. Now, when you're pressing this imprinting tool in, press it down all the way. Press really hard, harder than you think, because the clay is pretty sturdy and strong. And then peel it away. So that created kind of like a rocky texture in my work. And what I can do now is kind of smooth out certain parts if I want it to look more earth-like for the negative space. So you think about what you could create create texture-wise and how it create, create meaning in your background and your base. 
The second thing we're gonna do is then use our symbols that we plan. So I have people. Now the thing I wanna say about drawing people is you can draw any type of person doing anything. Let's say this person's dancing um, with a stick figure and then you can put a bubble around them in Keith Haring style. So start with um, the figure you want with a bubble, I mean with a stick figure, and then you can create a bubble around them. So mine's, I think I really like the one raising the recycling sign up in my plan. I'll show you that. And that's going to be my goal. I think that that's what I'm going to take away from this the most. So I'm going to now draw a stick figure holding something up, their little head, their body. Now once I have the stick figure here, drawn. Then I can draw the bubble around them. So you want to really have a solid plan today so that next time when you come in you can simply just execute that plan now that we've seen the demonstration. Now the thing about this is you have a couple things you can do. First of all when you cut something always don't peel, don't try to peel away the person peel away the extra so I call this the cookie whatever you're cutting don't peel away the cookie peel away the extra and then what you can do is you can flip it over and you're gonna have the more clean side you can squeeze it a little bit but it will be pretty flat and pretty much what you cut out um, smooth it a little bit so I have this person and they they can hold up whatever they want they're actually a little bit bigger than I want. So now, the important thing to know is that when you're creating a clay sculpture, this um, figure that I'm in the middle of creating is not going to um, stick down just like it's not sticking down now. It's going to be a dry, separate piece unless I do something to get it to stick. I have to score it and slip it. So in order to get this to stick on, I have to do a couple things. I'm gonna to have to score and slip. So I have my person created. They're not sticking down at all and they won't stick down unless I do something. I have to score by putting X's in the clay where it's going and putting X's on this actual part and I'm gonna put the slip on. So scoring and slipping. There we go. Put some, so don't get the watery part of the slip, get the gooey part that looks like it's paste and then stick it on. And now anything that's popping off, you can just get rid of that put it on your placemat, put it back in the box. Okay, so I have my clay figure. I now can add, um, the recycling symbol and my motion lines. So for motion lines, you can just pull a little piece and make a coil. And now remember that's not gonna stick on unless I score and slip, score and slip. Okay, now I can make the little recycling symbol I'm just going to kind of sketch it out here. I'm going to kind of put these little arrows. So everything you drew in your plan, you can have. Now the other thing to note is that you might need to simplify your plan a little bit. For example, I cut out a whole person because I wanted, I knew I wanted a big symbol, a big figure. It would be good not to have the slip on here while I do this. Anyway, okay. So I'm cutting out my arrows. Cutting out my arrows, and they're going in a circle up here. One, let me cut a little bubble. Everything that you cut needs to be 3D. Well, I'm struggling here because it's all slippy now. Don't do what I just did with the slip on the pencil. I'm gonna make another one. Okay, and now I just need one more arrow. So you can also sculpt these things. You don't have to cut them all. One more arrow. Now later when I have paint, this is all gonna come together a little bit more. We're gonna use black outlines as well. Um, 
So I have my person, I have my little arrows in a circle. I have to make sure they're scored and slipped on. Anything you don't score and slip is not gonna stick. So you need to make sure that you're scoring and slipping everything. You could also blend things together by taking a pencil and then sliding it down to get it to stick. Um, or a popsicle stick works too, so I can take the edge and kind of push it together, like, like I'm doing now with this foot. Um, but utilize your plan, take away what's not necessary, add things if you want to make it more detailed. I'm adding to this arrow right now. Okay. So once I have color, everything will be more clear, but it is a little hard to tell what everything is right now, so I might need to edit these details a little bit more. All right, so I have my person, I have my recycling symbol, and I have my motions, motion lines. Um, when we are doing our work, remember to simplify things that aren't needed. Remember that we will later be painting this, so try to just do your best with your symbols for now. Um, I have my recycling symbol at the top. I have my motion lines and my person. Um, and I'm going to grab my finished one to show you that. All right, I don't have my finished one, but I have a student's um, example, and they did to save energy. Um, they have a um, figure, they did a little lightning bolt, and then they have pattern in the background. So anything that you don't have completed, you can paint on. So they painted on their motion lines, they painted on some of their pattern details. Get whatever you can finish done today, and we will add more next time. Have a great at class.